hi guys. So today we're gonna talk about how to use the main techniques, how is the application, how you can defend yourself by using these techniques. And these are the eye jabs. I said eye jabs because there are many different eye jabs and front kicks as well and the side kicks uh, also to the knee. So the eye jabs, groin kick, the side kick, okay? So you can use this from, uh, from a neutral position, from normal standing, right, so no stance, which is very realistic. And you can use this from an on-guard stance. The on-guard stance you would probably use after your initial attack and when the fight continues. You have maybe missed or there are more than one opponent, you stay in on-guard. If someone just comes towards you, Okay, so now when he comes into this distance, you can decide what you use first. When he walks normally right towards you. You shouldn't use a side kick to the knee when he's walking. Because when he comes in and you kick this leg, that's actually not stepping. You have kicked the wrong leg, now he can catch you, right? So when you use from this position the side kick, okay, you would use it more toward, towards groin area or hip area, right? So you, you kick against his movement. The other thing is what you can do is when he comes in, you can go with a groin kick. Now here, if he comes faster towards you or maybe he runs here, I wouldn't recommend this technique because when he comes with more energy, right, and you kick him, now you can miss, and even if you hit him, he can fall over you. And he can fall over you, he can pull you to the ground, and even if he's right, not able to uh, fight anymore, you're still uh, on the ground, you have to stand up, maybe there's a second guy, he can kick you in the time. So, when somebody comes fast towards you, what I would recommend is you can punch, you can punch and go with a pivot to the side, right? So, he comes here fast, you go here, boom! and you go offside, okay? You can also go to the left, and you can also use the finger jab, okay? So that's, that's the footwork you would use. You can go here, and you can go here. You can use the eye jab, you can use also straight lead to the throat, to the chin, whatever. And the, here also, he comes fast, right? You can side kick him. You can side kick him to the upper body or even here, because if you do this, right, so his, his energy, his forward energy is going to add to your kick. Imagine you're in a fight situation, so you're both fighting. So I'm just gonna exclude my rear hand so you don't get distracted. He wants to punch you, he wants to kick you, and you keep your distance. Now here, when he wants to attack you, right, you still keep your distance, okay? Fencing footwork. So you keep your distance, and the moment he comes in, you can counter the guy, and you can count, you counter, okay, I have recently seen a video from a guy who does a side kick like this. Okay, you side kick like this. This is a side kick and not this. This is totally wrong technique. This looks good in the movies, but real side kick goes like here or even here. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a straight line towards the target. The best is, is a straight line towards the movement of the target. This is the same idea. So he comes in, you can counter him. He comes in, you can counter him with the eye jab as well, okay? Or even here, you can groin kick him as well. So you can, you use always, look, you use your footwork, okay? He's got two groin protectors and it's still painful and even I don't kick with full force, trust me. Kids? Yeah. Okay, come on more. So now you use your footwork to adjust your distance, right? Okay. Okay. And of course, because because the le this leg is closer towards towards uh, to the opponent, you can use it better for countering. So now you you have to have trained how to use from this position, from this footwork, these techniques, this one, this one, right? You can use any technique from this position even head kicks, but you want to stay efficient. If you want to use a hook kick to the, let's say you want to use a hook kick to, to the body, maybe he punches with his hand. He comes in, he punches with his hand, you step and you kick him here. Now you see, now you kick a stronger part of the body. This is very sporty. I wouldn't advise anybody to do that. So he wants to punch me here. Look, you can really, you can so, so easy, easily damage his knee. Imagine this is one opponent, right? Boom. And now you can concentrate on the other ones. You have damaged his knee. And even if you didn't, right, you can follow up whatever you need. And uh, you can take another opponent. If you kick the guy, like in the last video we explained, if you come here, 
and kick him to the upper leg. Now he's laughing. He can continue. Even if it's painful, he can hook me here. Boom. So this is why you want to you use your footwork, okay? You can use the eye jabs. You can use the lead punch. Look, this, this reach, okay? And you can use here groin kick. You can use a side kick. You can even use a side kick here to the ankle. If you need, you can counter immediately. Cut away one movement. You save your time and you take away a time from his reaction time. These this things are earlier things. Like Joe Lewis said, and what Bruce said about trapping to him is, this is a thing from the past, just forget it. Forget it, just forget it. Instead, get good at moving, right? At using here, oh, come on, come on, come on. Using your, your kicks, using your, right? Um, your hands, right, your fencing. So you can deflect, parry, you can hear, parry, this is parry, and you can uh, simultaneously eye jab, so you don't need this, this puck so. And if you're good on your legs and your upper body movement, right? So guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.